Um, this is an app called Settle Down. And if we look at the main file, here are our routes. Okay, so you see we have a welcome route at slash and then everything else goes like this, right? So let's look at that welcome route. Handle welcome. Okay, so what are we saying here? We're saying if second equals empty string, if third equals empty string, and it's a get, then we do this method, handle welcome index, which is right down here. Okay, so what does this start to look like? Well, you can have lots of these. You can just say that equals post, or you can say it equals delete, and then you can change this logic so easily here where you can just say if it's not this, you know, you have complete control over the routing here. Okay, so in this case, it's going down to this one, and notice here we have a context. You'll see a context passed in everywhere, and this says length context or length c user equals zero. That means there is no user. Uh, feedback handles the user cookies for you. Okay. So if there is no user, we're going to send content and layout. Welcome. Where is welcome HTML? Well, it's in views. And here's what you see on the home page of settle down if you're not logged in. Okay. But what if you are logged in? Okay. So we're saying if you are logged in, let's redirect you back to clients. Uh, and so let's look at main again. Oh, clients. Okay. Handle clients. Okay. App clients. Aha, then it's a little different here. Also, we're saying I'm not logged in. And sometimes you you, know, you definitely want to remove this. Like every once in a while, you, you have a, a route where you're like, oh, well, you don't have to be logged into this, but in this case you do. And uh, here we have a get and we have a post and we have a, oh, you look at this, that logic where it says if not, you know, and now we have a second. Basically, this is always a GUID. You're always passing it in like, you know, oh, I want to show this particular client. So here's the GUID or you know, I'm now doing a form post. There it is. So anyway, let's look at client index. Ah, and now we get to the first part where we're doing um, a query from uh, the database. Okay, so the feedback also handles the database for you. So you say see all, that's just saying you're, you're going to do a select from the table and get back, not all the rows, you're going to get back 30 by default. And then you can pass in offsets uh, to, to get the paginated results. It's called all, but remember, you only get 30. All right, so then you tell the model you want, you know, which table. Uh, in the database, this would be clients and uh, it was an S, but you say the singular version, okay? And then you say where user ID equals dollar sign one, great. And you come over here. This is that offset thing I was talking about. If you wanted to, by default, you pass an empty string, which means no offset, it means the first 30 rows, okay. And then here we are saying, see user ID. Oh, nice. I want the current user, the user that's logged in. I want to see, you know, all your clients. Ah, so I get back this list. I get back this list of every single client that's in the database with user ID one. Okay, but where's the schema defined? How is this all working? Ah, the, ma the magic in feedback JSON. We look at feedback JSON, we have models, user, pretty simple here, username, passwords. You define all this stuff and uh, let's go down to the one on the client here. Ah, client has a user ID, uh, flavor int, uh, index, yes. This one's super uh, important. Yeah, so right here, if I wanted to, I can make it unique, but you know, that in this case, I want it uh, not unique, I want it just yes. And you know, you have all these options in here uh, of uh, adding a new field is so easy. Like, you know, let's say you wanted to add a brand new field, you know. All you have to do is, is that, and then you run it and it'll automatically create that, new, it'll automatically do the, the table uh, alter for you. Well, that's just a quick overview of feedback.